guys, I hope you are well. So I'm here today with a tea with stove. I have missed doing my tea with stoves. I haven't done one in ages because of like my holiday and just, I don't know, it just kind of hasn't been on my list of things to film because I haven't really had any like topics to talk about or anything. But since we are going into the kind of like starting uni, back to uni style, style that makes sense, time of the year. I decided that I was gonna do like a uni advice video because I've had quite a few requests to do that. Um, obviously I'm going into my second year. I'm going back to uni next week. Oh my God. I thought I would just kind of give you some tips on how to survive uni, I guess, because I learned a lot through my first year and I feel like there's some valuable lessons and some valuable pieces of advice that I need to hand over to you, my dear successors of the world. Hmm. So grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee, whichever your preferred hot drink may be. Or maybe a glass of water if you ain't in the hot drink crew. It's not right, it's very hot, I understand. I don't normally drink tea in this warm weather, but um you know, it's kind of the name of the name of the series. So God. Yeah. Piece of advice and number one, always be yourself. Don't go into like the idea of uni thinking I'm gonna try and be like someone else, you know, I'm gonna create this new person because even though at the time it feels great and it might it might work for a bit, you kind of will realise that eventually it ain't gonna really stick around. I mean, when I first started uni, I went and was myself and I was like, this is the kind of person I am, I'm a happy person, you know, I'm a, I'm a talkative person, I'm a bubbly person, I, you know, think about other people's happiness more than my own because I do and I went and I was completely myself and I was like, hey, this has gone really well and like, I love making people laugh. It's one of my favourite things. It's one of the things that just like warms my heart, making people laugh or making people smile. And that was what I did when I started. I was kind of like, oh my God, like it's working. People are actually liking me. And I maybe, I don't know, I just think I felt a bit like, okay, now, now what do I do to, you know, keep it up kind of things. And you know what I mean? I felt like a kind of pressure to be the happy person all the time. And even though I am, and it, like that is a natural thing that I kind of like project, I guess. Um, because I was so paranoid, it like kind of stopped that and ruined that. And then I was trying to make people like happy in another way and like trying to like impress people in a different way. Hey guys, I'm just gonna quickly jump in because I was editing this and I was like, what I'm saying doesn't make sense. So basically what I was trying to say was that I kind of realized that people actually liked, you know, like the real me. And so I kind of felt like a bit uncomfortable with that because I'd never really experienced it because I kind of felt I'd always subconsciously like not knowing but I'd always tried to do what I thought people you know like wanted me to do or how people wanted me to be and what was like cool or what was funny and like it, it never worked Um it's, it's really hard to describe because it sounds like I've just been a big fake my whole life and it's not that at all it's like a really really small thing but it just makes a massive difference in like whether you're you know kind of showing your true personality and doing everything without thinking before you do it do you know what I mean I used to like always think before I spoke and think okay like will that get a good reception or will that be um something that people like about me and then I'd say something and then I'd be like oh no maybe this and maybe this and I always found that I'd say things and think oh this is funny I'm gonna say that and then it like never worked and it was always the times when I didn't think before I spoke and I said something that people were like oh my god you know that's really funny or like that's so nice and yeah <laughs> and realizing that has helped me in so many more ways like not just in social situations or whatever but even with stuff like my YouTube like I feel totally comfortable sitting and talking to you guys now like I do just like whatever I want to do I say what I want to say and I don't think twice before I say it nothing I say is ever scripted like it all just comes out my mouth and I find that some of my best videos and some of my favorite videos are the ones where I've just sat and like talked to you and whatever because they're like real and it's just like real humor you know it's, it's just more natural you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> I just I just think if you try too hard that's when people are like no you know what I mean? That's when people like are like get bored, and you know what I mean. If you are yourself, then people feel it, and it's it's not fake, and it's real. And through like dressing how people wanted me to dress, you know, when people used to like mock me for like being a bit quirky and wearing like my ugly jumpers and stuff, that was when I was like, okay, right, I need to stop being that because it's clearly not what people like. So then by being this like other stereotypical kind of person, like what what I thought was supposedly like cool because I thought it was what everybody wanted me to be like because they didn't like who I actually was then 
yeah, like that was when I, I lost my identity. And going to uni, I thought, you know what, I ain't gonna care. These people don't know me or didn't know me, and so they're not gonna care. If I go in an ugly jumper, or if I go in a quirky outfit, or if I go and like be my loud, bubbly, happy self, they will think that is who that person is, because it was like the first impression they get. And I've learned to embrace it. Genuinely, the last year of uni has really helped me to embrace myself a lot more than I ever have in any other kind of situation or like social scenario or whatever, I guess. So yeah. Going back to the start, be yourself, really, honestly, be yourself. And I'm really lucky because on my course we're all absolutely mental, so, you know. A piece of advice, number two, always keep a ready meal in. I'm just saying, if you're on a course like me, where you're in like eight till five or six every day, keep a ready meal or two or three or one for every day in because you will thank yourself and your holy gods when you get home and you think, oh, I can't be bothered to cook. Bang in. I've got a blooming sausage and mash in the fridge, ain't it, lads? So, trust me, you will thank me for that piece of advice. And they keep forever, so you ain't got to worry about that. Sell by dates. Piece of advice number three budget your loan. Now, obviously, depending on like your parents' wages and whatever, you will have um, a, probably a, like maybe even a massively different amount of loan to a lot of other people on your course or a lot of your friends or whatever. Um, and like I said, this depends on your parents' wage. I'm quite lucky I get quite a big loan, so it's always like covered my accommodation and stuff. Some people will get a loan that only covers accommodation and then you have to like buy like your food and stuff with money from your parents or from a job. No matter how little, no matter how big, budget it because you will thank yourself so much. If you've got a load that you feel like you'll have lots left over, you can always budget saving some of it because then like when you come to finish uni, you will be very happy and especially over summer and Christmas and stuff, you've got a bit, bit of extra cash um, to like buy Christmas presents and like birthday presents throughout the year and like maybe go on holiday over summer I'm not saying like spend your student loan on holiday but you get what I'm saying I'm lucky because I have a job where when I come back at Christmas and like summer and stuff I can do shifts and um, which is great because it's meant I've been saving loads over summer so I've got um, enough money behind me so if like my loan doesn't come in on the right day or something I can still pay for my rent I know some people do it on like spreadsheets and like you, there's apps you can get and stuff but I literally just do it like like on a piece of paper so I find out how much grant I've got how much loan I've got and um, how much my house is gonna cost and then I like add it all up and then take away my house in um, and then see like what I've got left over and then I divide that by like 12 months and then divide that by four weeks so I see how much I've got available a week so whatever I kind of figured out I needed for like lunch and stuff then I give myself a little bit extra for like bits and bobs throughout the week and if I fancy like a Costa one day or like a Starbucks one day or whatever or like a meal uh, like a Nando's or something for me also I'll be like traveling to see Sam um, now and again so I've got to kind of figure out how much money I've got for like trains or coaches or whatever to go home if you're on a course where you're only kind of in a few days a week and you have the chance to get a job then like by all means get a job however I would say if you're on a course like me and you're so busy if you can afford to not get a job don't get a job because having a job and then having a really busy course you're gonna miss out on all the kind of uni life and like I say I don't even go out much but you'll miss out on bonding with your classmates like outside even just chilling in each other's rooms and it you really don't want to miss out because it's just three years of your life oh I'm getting ahead of myself now this is a later on thing I'm gonna mention it now another piece of advice is socialize and um, and just you know like I say put yourself out there and just like make friends and like be kind to people also because so many people whilst you're at uni you know you, you're homesick and you struggle and you you can get down and whatever so just be there for people because their family isn't there and you are you're like their family for the for the three years or whatever piece of advice number five i think we're on now i seem to have kind of lost um but freeze your bread freeze your bread your bread your loaf of bread freeze it i can tell you this unless you're a person who eats a lot of bread like i'm talking you know like bread for breakfast like toast and whatever then like bread for lunch like two or three rounds and like bread for dinner like i don't know more toast or something freeze your bread because you will not use your bread and bread goes out of date very quick like i never realized until i went to uni how how quick bread goes out of date and uh, how little bread i actually used i'd make like packed lunches and then maybe have like cheese and toast one night or whatever and still i'd have so much bread left over so i'd do like by the smaller loaves still so much bread left over so i discovered you can in fact freeze your bread and then it will not go out of date because it is frozen so then what you can do is like take out a few slices and like the night before you want to make your packed lunches in the morning leave it out overnight to defrost and then like make up some sandwiches in the morning bish bash bosh some like health people might tell me that's maybe not good but 
I tell you what, Google told me it was fine and so did my parents and they are 50 something and they are still alive after freezing bread throughout their lives. So, hmm. Number six, link into that, make pack lunches because you will save so much money doing it. Unless you're a catered student, then you get like your food included in like your um, la 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 accommodation fees. Um, but yeah, make pack lunches. You will be very happy with yourself because if you go and spend four pound in the canteen, you, instead you could have literally spent like four pound on like a loaf of bread for the week, um, like topping, butter, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and some crisps, like a bag of crisps, like a multi pack of crisps or whatever. Um, so yeah. That, that would be in one day but you could have spent it the whole week do you see what i'm trying to say so definitely make pat lunches i know it's the biggest chore it's literally my least favorite thing to do i hate making pat lunches so 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 much but it saved me a lot of money in the long run so yeah number seven i think i don't know i've lost count skype or facetime your family just like organize one night a week maybe two nights a week or whatever to like skype or facetime your family calling them is great but there's so much more of a connection when you skype or facetime my parents don't have iphones whereas i have an iphone but um they downloaded skype onto their like android phones and we skyped and it was so nice because i got to see my dog obviously you can't talk to your dog on the phone unless your dog barks like my dog barks and then you're kind of in a weird way talking to your dog on the phone yeah you just get to see each other and it's nice because you, it's just more like you're seeing each other in person and it's, it's really really nice and i really enjoyed doing it last year and i'm definitely gonna carry on doing it again this year because like i say it just feels more like you're actually with the person than when you're on the phone you feel not like as connected and you're more present because you're actually like looking at each other and you're focused on each other instead of like being on the phone and doing something else as well if you can't do that then you know um it's not the end of the world i just think it's something that is really really nice to do especially if you live quite far away and you don't see your family um like a lot whilst you're at uni and um yeah number eight is it maybe i'm not really sure but um try and stay clean and tidy and i know it sounds a bit stupid because it's like well yeah duh i'm gonna try and stay clean and tidy obviously i don't want to live in a pig hole but it's like important because if you are clean and tight like if you have a tidy room or whatever i know it's stupid because it's like tidy room tidy mind but it's true if you're stressed out which i guarantee you you will get with uni um you'll feel so much better if you're in a tidy environment if you have a cluttered room you have a cluttered mind but um no it really does help i mean it's something that's helped me it might not help other people i like my things to be tidy it's crazy because it was like my own little flat at uni so it felt more like i was kind of house proud of it whereas here i'm a bit like yeah, you know it's not my house but sorry mom after you finished uni and your parents can see that you've been like an independent person and you have uh, done things like tidy and wash and wash up and iron they uh you know they might treat you a bit more like you're actually an adult we'll see i tell you what it is dead hot. I am on the front. I'm like a front facing house. So the sun is like right on my window. So it's basically an effect, a greenhouse. And I am just like a little beanstalk, a little pea beanstalk. Like a pea, bee, pea. Do you know what I mean? Like peas in a pod in a greenhouse. Do you get one? Green peas? Beans. Beans. Green beans. Bean grease. Mm. Yeah. And the last piece of advice, and potentially the most important piece of advice. Now, guys, listen up. This is very serious, okay? I'm being serious now. This is actually a serious one. Wash up straight away when you've eaten, okay? Don't leave stuff. No, 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 do not leave stuff. Do not leave anything that has involved ketchup or cereal or milk, especially not milk, or any kind of like puree or sauce. Basically, no, just everything. Tea, wash it up straight away because if you do not, then within the next kind of how long you leave it for, it will dry, it will really dry. Then you will be having to get like some almighty elbow grease into scrubbing that shit off. I tell you this, because I, I have learnt from experience, trust me, when I finish eating my tea, when I've had a really long day at uni and it's already like nine o'clock, I'm like, gal, I ain't washing nothing. So I just shove it on the side and I'm like, I'll do it tomorrow. No, 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 no. When tomorrow comes, it takes me twice as long, if not three times as long, to clean it than it would have done if I would have done it the first night and I wouldn't have been lazy. It's the honest truth because it dries and it just gets hard and it just gets like stuck and then it just takes the mix to get out. Similarly, if you leave tea or coffee, more likely coffee, but I don't drink coffee, in your cups, it stains them. And what else is that? Milk, 
this is not a staining thing, but this is just a pure disgusting thing. If you leave milk from like the bottom of your cereals in your bowl, it will like um, go like, uh, what's the word? Congealed is the word maybe, and uh, turn into like basically jelly. And then it's disgusting um, to try and wash away and it makes you gag and um, just don't do it. And even if you haven't got the time to kind of like wash up, at least rinse the plate like with hot water and then like leave it to like do a thorough wash off just to get like all the grime and stuff off it so it doesn't then dry because honestly it'll make things 10 times harder and just by doing like a 10 second wash or like rinse you will like save yourself so much more time later so that is everything for my uni advice video guys i hope you liked it but yeah there's obviously a lot more like bits and bobs pieces of advice like um hmm but this is what I wanted to contribute to the back to uni season of things. But yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm running out of like space on my camera, so I'm going to have to go. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come and join the family. You're more than welcome here any goddamn time. And I will see you next time, which will be Wednesday. Love you lots, guys. Bye.